you're thinking about renovating your home to sell, uh, you might be thinking, hey, kitchen and bathrooms, that's what we've always heard, right? Well, that might not be the best case for your investment. Today, we're going to be talking about the top five renovations to make to your home when you're, going to, when you're thinking about selling, and we're going to talk to you about them in order of percentage of the cost recouped. That's really important, right? How much money am I going to get back based on these renovations? My name is Lane Stone. I'm a local real estate broker here in Southern California with the Sack and Stone team at Seven Gables Real Estate, and I'm really excited to bring you this list, starting with number one, number one being the garage door. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, garage door, why? But it actually makes a lot of sense when you think about it. The number one photo, typically, when you sell your home on the listing, is the front of the house. The number one photo gets viewed more times than any other photo. It's also the first thing you see when you pull up before you even step inside. It's your curb appeal. And that garage door takes up a ton of real estate, <laughs> pun intended, uh, when, it's, when it's, uh, you're talking about the front of your house here. So you want to have your front yard well manicured. You want to have it every clean. but. You also don't want a faded garage door. It's maybe some wood that's deteriorating, maybe something that's, something that's falling apart because it's actually not that expensive to replace, but the perception because it's so large is that it might be. Let's think about it. Number two is a deck addition, preferably wood. Redwood's a good wood to use when it comes to uh, replacing the, a deck because it's waterproof. Now, we could be talking about the front deck. We could be talking about the back deck. Either way, it's still an exterior item. And if we're talking about the front deck, it goes back to one of the reasons why the re renovating the garage door is so important because it's that curb appeal. It's that first impression. It's that photo that gets viewed more times than any other photo. So have a nice, new, clean, refreshed deck. Stage it up really well with a couple sitting chairs. And everybody wants that feeling, especially if you're on the front porch and you have a deck, of hanging out with your neighbors. And you know what? Especially during these times, we're spending a lot of time at home. So there's a reason why people are making a ton of renovations, even when they're not selling, to their front yards and their backyards because you know we want that resort like feel if we're not being if we're not being able to travel and go to resorts right now. Buyers that are looking at buying right now that we're helping out, they're all looking for a nice new renovated backyard. So make sure it's clean and that's a big reason why the deck edition comes in at number two. Now, I think we're staying along, staying along um, the same theme here for number three, and that's a roof replacement. Again, the first three, all exterior items, right? So the roof replacement, and that's a big one because that's a perception item. Now, when you're approaching the house for the first time and you look up and you notice that you might have a rolled composition roof that's a little bit faded, you might be thinking to yourself, oh man, that's gonna be a big expense. And if the seller's not willing to do it, that could be your expense in three to five years or less. And we're talking in the tens of thousands of dollars. So you don't want a, the perception for a buyer to be thinking before they even have the opportunity to step inside the front door, oh man, I'm gonna have to spend a ton of money in renovations and it's all gonna go to the roof or a majority of it's going to go to the roof. You don't want that. Have If you know that your roof is going to be uh, in need of a replacement within three to five years or less, consider doing so because it you're going to get, not only are you going to get your money back on that, uh, you're going to be able to sell it your house for a lot more because the buyers aren't going to be putting the cost of renovation, renovating this house into their calculator. And they might not be thinking if it's a roll composition roof, it could cost ten or $15,000. Um, maybe now if you're doing concrete, it could cost obviously a lot more, but you don't want them to think, hey, it's a $25,000 replacement when maybe it's in the ten to 15000 and then drop that price by 25000 You want to be able to avoid that. So for the top three all being exterior recapping, garage door replacement, you have a new deck, and you have a roof replacement. Okay, now we're gonna round it off to the kitchen and bathrooms, but which one do you think is more important? Which one do you think you can get a higher percentage of, of uh, recouped cost? Well, it's the bathroom. And quite frankly, it's probably because it most often uh, remodeling the bathroom isn't quite as expensive as it is to remodel the kitchen. Uh, and we're talking maybe multiple bathrooms. You have a master bath and a, and a hall bath, or maybe some of you watching this have three or four or more bathrooms. But yes, a bathroom remodel, uh, you are recouping close to 70% thanks to our good friends at Keeping Curring Matters with these stats um, as far as a bathroom remodel. Now, rounding out the list is your kitchen remodel. So before you think about remodeling the kitchen and bathroom, and, you're, and if you're on a limited budget, consider the exterior first. Consider the deck. Consider the roof. Consider the garage door replacement because you're going to get your money back on that tenfold. 
uh, and, and a lot easier than you would maybe the kitchen and bathroom remodels. But you know what? At the end of the day, the kitchen and bathroom remodels still t- wound up on the top five list. Again, thank you to our good friends at Keeping Current Matters. Mm-hmm. If you enjoyed this video, if you found that uh, this information is beneficial, give us a like, give us a comment, share it with a friend if you think a friend might find this video useful. Subscribe to our channel for more. And as always, very grateful for your time. And we'll t- see you later.